Hi my beautiful people, welcome back. My name is Kyla and if you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. Um, so today I'm going to be doing a little bit something different. I'm going to do a hair color remover on my hair. Um, I've got a girl from my hair school, Marika, who really wants to do a rainbow on somebody's head and she asked me and I said that's fine. Um, we can do it sometime next week just to let my hair have a little bit of rest after I do a color remover. Um, so when I do a color remover, normally I use Joico's Intensity Eraser, um, but because my hair is currently a little bit um, fried from me doing a straightening and curling and a whole bunch of hot iron implements going on my ends and it being colored already and it's, it's just a little bit fried. So I'm going to be using one that I used to use instead, which is this colorless hair color remover. Um, it's a really conditioning one. I've used it before. Um, sometimes it doesn't entirely wash away your hair color. Sometimes it only brings it down to the um, previous most intense hair color that your hair just decides it's not gonna wanna let go if you are a bit of a hair junkie like I am. Um, so to do this, I'm going to be using that instead, just because I don't have to mix it with ammonia and there's no bleach or anything like that in here. And then it's gentle and for dry hair. So if you're a bit of a color junkie as well, and, uh, you want to change your hair color up a little bit more, but stay in the same range, this is a good one for you. I will link it down in the, um, description box below. And I will also put in a couple of pictures just after this little clip of what my hair currently looks like and what color it is and I will put some more at the end of the video to show you a little bit of a before and after um, and if you guys decide you want to see a video of me using the Joyco color eraser on my hair as well um, in the future I can also do that not a problem just let me know down in the comments and I will see you guys in a minute after I put my gloves and my cape on and look a little bit funny Okay guys, so I have my cape on, I have my gloves ready, I have my bowl and my color brush ready. These are just from the dollar store. I do pretty cheap when I'm at home. Um, so here's the box again. For those of you that didn't see it before, it's got no bleach and no ammonia, which makes it really gentle on the hair. And it really doesn't sting up the bathroom because I'm not big on the smells. So that's one of the reasons I also really like this. Um, so this one comes with a part A, it comes with the part B, the colorless D hair remover, and the colorless C. So these two, C and D, are actually like your shampoo and your conditioner. This one is what's, the C is what's used to wash out um, all of the chemical out of your hair with lukewarm water and D it does feel like a conditioner when you put it in and it's full of a lot of um, healthy minerals and vitamins and oils and such that will help uh, rebond your hair afterwards and really condition it. Um, I normally leave this on for a good like 5-10 minutes when I do this just to make sure it gets the most activation. Um, so to start it also comes with instructions. Get to the English side here. So it says pour bottle A into B and shake vigorously for one minute. Apply to clean dry hair using entire contents ensuring the hair is saturated with lotion. Comb to ensure complete coverage over hair's cling film and process for 45 minutes. Um, rinse lotion off with warm water for five minutes. Use half a bottle C and the usual thing for washing your hair. Um, I don't actually use the entire application for um, this just because my hair is so short. Um, it's not like I'm putting it on my sides and stuff where I don't have any fashion colors. As well as like using a full lot of these. Like again, my hair is really short so it doesn't take a lot. I do use a lot of D though because my hair is kind of thick. Um, so even though it spreads really well, I like to make sure every part of my lo my hair is covered in the lotion. Um, and instead of using what it says for the cling wrap, 
Um, I actually used a heat, um, a heat retaining hair cap, um, which I will actually be doing another video on when I use my conditioning treatments just because I find that it helps so much better rather than trying to like put your hair in cling wrap and um, put a hat on and apply heat and all that. It all does this in one thing for you and it's not uncomfortable. Anyway, I'm gonna start mixing these up and I will see you guys in a minute. Hello again, guys. So I'm just mixing up A and B for now. Um, I forgot to mention that it does come with gloves. I don't really like these. I prefer gloves that actually fit my hands. Um, I just got these at a regular beauty supply. And I'm sorry for the funny angle right now. My uh, computer is the one that's filming right now, so I don't have to worry about holding a camera and everything. Um, so I'm just going to mix these up. Um, and I will be pouring it all into a bowl and a brush just because I'm more comfortable with doing that on my own hair rather than doing the shaker bottle. Um, I will be shaking it to start though. If I can get this open. Okay, so I managed to get this open. I'm just going to pour this into B, this being A. Kind of a thick consistency, so once you get to the bottom, you can kind of just leave the bottles on top of each other and let everything come out. Um, if you have really thick hair and it's more than shoulder length, I would recommend getting two of these. Since they only have a little bit of hair that it's going to be going on, um, I won't use this entire application, but I will um, mix the entire thing because I don't know what the complete ratio is. Um, Unlike the Joyco one where I measure it myself. Just kind of sit this on top of each other. So I just kind of sat it on top of each other so that it can fully, completely go into part B. Um, it does stink a tiny bit, and I will eventually be turning on my fan in my bathroom just so that the smell doesn't stay in here um, and go throughout the rest of the house. Um, but while that's kind of mixing. I'm going to stick on my gloves. Um, these are just regular black latex gloves. Um, you can get nylon ones as well if you don't like um, it sticking in your hair. Um, mine are mediums just because that's the size my hand is. Um, you can get these at Amazon. You can get them at any beauty supply store, Sally's, whatever you guys have. And I actually went and grabbed my, <laughs> my reversible so if you prefer gold or silver on your head, you have the choice of which one you use. Um, you can wash this after every use. Um, it works pretty well on pretty, keeping the heat inside. Um, my sister actually put her hand on my, my head the other day when I had a conditioning treatment in and laughed at how hot it was. I'm just going to set that aside. That goes on after everything is saturated. Um, and I am going to be using a wide tooth comb. You can use a pick comb, whatever you want. Just something that's going to let you push the product through your hair and not get snagged on everything. Um, so those seems to be have mixed completely. But next, this has a nice little twist top on it. I'll show you guys a little closer. It kind of just pops in. You can see that ridge, so it actually just twists up and it's really easy to remove. So if you end up actually applying your um, hair color or whatever with bottles like these, you really like the fact that you can easily get this off. You don't have to cut anything. Um, I actually sometimes wash these bottles and use them a couple of times if I'm just doing like an all over dye. Um, I'm just gonna shake this for a minute and then we'll get starting to apply it to my head. Um, one other thing, I do not really watch the time. If you have very healthy hair um, and you don't dye it a lot, like you've only ever done the one color, I layer colors on top of my hair so like 
I had blue and green before this. I then applied um, a purple over top of that and it went to this color. I had a navy on my roots. So there's a couple of layers, about four layers worth of dye on my head right now. Um, so I only watch it. I don't specifically time how long this stuff is on my head. Um, as long as you're watching it and you're checking the integrity of your hair every once in a while, at least show you guys how I do that. Um, if you pull a piece out, for instance, your bangs normally process really easily. If you take a piece of your hair and you can do this and it doesn't snap or stretch, your integrity for your hair is still really good. Um, if you're finding it starting to get a little slack and um, or you're getting uncomfortable with how long it's on your head for like an excessive amount of time. Like if you have this stuff on for like an hour, you're probably going to want to rinse it out. Um, just because eventually it just starts drying out your hair. It's, it's done doing everything. Like you can, you can only use um, the heat that your body is naturally producing for so long before it's just literally drying your hair out. Um, so like I said, if you're doing it for like more than an hour, just wash it out. Like, it's, it's not going to go any further unless you use something that's got ammonia in it that's going to actually fully take the stuff out of your hair. So that's been about a total of a minute of me completely shaking this. So I'm just going to pour it into my little bowl. Um, it's kind of a blue tint. I don't know if you guys can see it once it's completely shaken up. Get a good amount of product in this bottle for sure. So if you guys have a lot more hair than I do, like I don't have very much, just this top section here. Um, because I'm only doing this top section, if you have a lot more hair, please separate your hair, like separate it into four and start from the bottom and move your way up. Um, don't start at the front of your head. Just because that's going to be where all of your your um, hair that you process the most is going to be. So like most people's fringe lines, well, this front section here, if you don't know what a fringe is, um, your bang area, it will process very quickly compared to the rest of your hair. Um, for instance, I have a girl at my school where this part right here at the top of her head takes forever to process. So that's actually the part that we start at the most. Um, and that's just because she likes her hair blonde. So most people, it's down in this region here, which is your nape. Some people, it's up in the crown, just because that area is most times open. It's not normally covered. Um, but if you're going to do your fringe line first, I recommend against that, just because it will remove the color a lot easier in that section. Um, so I'm going to start at the back here and move my way forward. Again, if you guys haven't done this in your hair, please section it. It makes it a hundred times easier. Um, I'm gonna do it the same way I pretty much apply dye um, to remove it. This won't take out your natural hair color. So if you have a balayage and you had color over top of it, it's not gonna remove any of that natural pigment. Okay? So since my hair is brushed, I'm just gonna start back here. And just a heads up guys, yes, this is a pretty odorless one compared to some color removers. Um, some color removers like the Joyco smells like a dye. Um, it's not overly heavy or gross. So I'm just applying this back here if you can see that. Just making sure everything is completely saturated. I will show you guys a bit better up at that front section of what it is doing. Kind of looks like conditioner when you put it in the hair. Sort of feels that way too. Um, I completely forget what I was saying before. It does smell a little bit. Some of it have, some of them, like the Joyco one, do smell like hair dye. Um, 
I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the L'Oreal color remover or um, even the color oops ones like those they do smell like rotten eggs this is like a happy medium between the two so it's not really bad if you have a fan going you should be okay um, even just opening a window you should be good and like you don't need a lot on your brush um, if you are using the applicator bottle just apply it at your scalp first and kind of just use your fingers to work it through um, it's the safest way, like your hands are your best tools there. And if you do have a permanent dye in your hair, this will not remove it. So if you went to Walmart or Shoppers or whatever um, store you might have gone to, and you went and bought a L'Oreal or a Nutrice or a Garnier or whatever brand box dye, this is not going to take it out. If you want to get a box dye out of your hair, go to a salon. And be honest that you used a box dye. Because that's the one thing that we hairdressers, even hairdressers in training, cannot stand enough. Is if you guys use a box dye, be honest about it. We're not going to get mad about it. We might get a little annoyed just because... Like, you can tell us exactly which box dye you've been using and you've only done it twice. Um, or you can tell us exactly what brand and what color. You could even bring in the dye. That makes absolutely no difference. Simply because we don't know what that formula is. Box dye is one of those things where, like, they kind of just throw in whatever works for them. Um, especially because if it's a permanent color and it says it's going to cover braids or whatever, they can formulate it stronger for people who have those gray hairs. And if someone comes through and it's, say, a teenager that's just doing their hair for the first time and they just want, you know, a red-purple color on top of their normal brown, well, guess what? That hair color is now going to be harder to take out because they probably used a higher um, concentration of peroxide, not peroxide, developer, probably a higher form of developer, and we don't know exactly what ratio they mix that to when they do it for a general public. On top of that, there's metallic dyes probably, nine times out of ten, unless you use like an all-natural hair dye. There's metallic dyes in box dye, which means that everything we formulate to go on top of your head is going to react somewhat differently than what we expect if you go oh no it's all professional hair color okay because box dyes are cheap because they use that metallic dye whereas like if you go to a sally's or a beauty supply or a ricky's wherever you guys happen to be and you pick up a professional dye that you're mixing yourself and if you have asked that person at that shop going hey what should I use if I want this? And they say, okay, you're just color depositing. This box of dye will give you that color, and a 10 to 20 developer will do exactly that. Because that 10 to 20 developer is only meant to deposit color. Whereas if you were using a box dye, they could be using a 30 volume developer, which is designed to lift color and then deposit. On top of that, you probably just killed your hair a little bit if you left it in too long and just go, oh, this will just make my color last longer. No, all you're doing again is damaging your hair that much more when you don't need to. Okay, sorry for doing the hairstylist rant. I did make the mistake long ago of using box dye and when I decided to change my color because I got tired of having a natural color, I had a black cherry, which is a really, really dark red. Um, I had a hell of a time trying to get it out of my hair. And I ended up cutting a good three inches off of my hair and having a really short, stubby mohawk, specifically for that reason. So now that I'm at the front, you guys can probably see a little bit better what I'm doing. I'm literally just taking the, the product and putting it all over my hair. Please be careful if you are doing this that you don't get it in your eyes. If you get it on your skin or whatever, it's fine. If you get it on your clothes, you're going to go back. 
try to wash it off really quickly so you don't end up decoloring your pants. Um, it is kind of runny, so like I said, you don't need a lot. It has a bit of a milky consistency. Oop, I just threw some on my counter. Oh well. Nothing too deep marks on my counter. So I'm just trying to keep this as clean as possible. Really small sections because I do have thick hair. So you guys can see this is really thin. Flipping it back because it won't remove my natural hair color. I can lay it on my natural hair color. I'm just making sure to apply product on the opposite side as well. Please be careful if you guys are doing this near your eyes that you don't get it in your eyes. If you do wash them out, stop what you're doing, wash your hair, eyes out immediately, and then go see an eye doctor or just your regular doctor, whatever you have access at the moment. If worse comes to worse and you aren't sure, go to the hospital. Nobody wants you having your eyes burnt out by a chemical because you decided to do something at home. If you guys are really uncomfortable with doing this at home, go into a hair salon that you normally go to or a first choice or wherever where they do hair coloring and just be like, yo, I want a all over application and I have my own color remover. Can you do this for me? And in that case, I would recommend getting something like Joyco where they mix it for you. You guys can get these in little packages from the Sally's Beauty Supply or from the beauty supply shops and stuff like that. Nine times out of ten, they will have this. If not, I will link it down below where you can get it from a supplier where it is decently priced. And you guys can get a discount code when you sign up for them. Um, and then afterwards, you can unsign up for them. It just it gives you that more reliability on a product. Um, and if you are like me and you are a bit of a color junkie when it comes to dyeing your hair, like, you can mix it with water. It's, it's that versatile. It just means that you're more likely to not damage your hair because you can mix it for your head rather than using something like this that is considered a box dye. Only thing is, this doesn't have metallic dyes in it. This is meant to remove that color. Um, it also clearly states it has no ammonia, no bleach, which is pretty good thing. Because um, ammonia is part of the reason why your hair gets dried out, which is why they can claim this is such a conditioning treatment. Even though you are removing stuff out of your hair, similar to when you lighten it, this isn't going to lighten your hair because it clearly states it has no bleach in it. Also, this feels like a really watery hair conditioning treatment. Um, your hair will feel really dry after you have washed it out. The whole reason it claims that it is really, really, really conditioning is because of this lovely little guy and the shampoo that they clearly make for it. Um, with Joyco, I just use my regular moisturizing ion shampoo and my protein conditioner just because um, that gets me the most benefits out of it. Um, I know my hair is getting moisturized. I can do a deep conditioning treatment in after this. Um, all that jazz. And if you guys do want to see how I repair my hair, um, I can do a little bit of a video like that, either with my products we use at Marker College um, by L'Oreal or by my stuff that I use at home. It's all up to you guys. Just let me know down in the comments below. Um, depending on what I decide I'm doing within the next couple of days, I might post a video of it anyways. But I have no problems if you guys would like me to to make a video for, for you guys.
right now. Yes, my hair is technically completely covered. Um, I'm just double checking and kind of going through those sections that a lot of people tend to miss, which is like your perimeter area if you have a parting like I do. Um, just make sure you're keeping an eye on the time if you are timing this. Um, since I am not, I'm kind of just going with what my hair says to me. So right now, it's pretty good. The stretch isn't bad. Like, my hair isn't stretching at all. My ends aren't breaking off or anything like that. So, it's pretty solid at the moment. I will post pictures as this is processing of what my hair looks like as time goes by. Um, and I will keep an eye on what time I am completely done this. Since right now it is 7.36 at night where I am in Canada. I'm just doing the same thing on the other side. And like I said, if you do get this on some of your natural hair growth, it won't do anything about it. The color will still be there when you're done might be a tiny bit dry there but since that is um, regrowth you should be pretty solid um, just keep an eye on it it's really the best bet if it does start to look like you're running your hands with conditioner through that's okay that just means that you're making sure that the hair is completely cut saturated and emulsifying it means that everything is getting to be covered. And look, I get a little white, a whitish. It's okay, not a problem. I have been doing color removers on my own head for the past like six years since I've been dyeing it, back when I had really long hair down in my butt. It just eventually got to be too much and I cut it all off. So right now my roots are actually starting to turn kind of green. They were bluish green to start with, um, and the purple is starting to get a little bit darker, which means it's starting to lift, which is a good sign. And I still have about half the bowl left. I will take a picture of it because I don't want to spill this on my computer. And I will keep you guys posted while this is processing. So right now, the time is 7.38 here, um, and I will see you guys in what you will consider a minute, and I will probably consider about an hour. One more thing before I was finished. I know I didn't use the comb to push it through my head. That was because I used my fingers. Um, and yes, I do have my little heat cap on right now. Um, but one other thing I forgot to mention, if you guys use it in the bottle, you guys can just throw out the entire bottle inside the package. I normally just throw my garbage all in this and then throw it out. Um, you cannot keep the mixed product for any period of time. Like once you mix it, if you don't use it on your head, you need to throw it out because it's all it's going to do is sit in a bowl or in that bottle and continue to develop. And then eventually it probably will eat through the plastic just because it's sitting there for so long. And it's in this tight little confined space where that scent can't get it or anything like that. Um, don't freak out because you have this on your head for a very limited time. That will not happen. Um, if you are like me and you put it in a color bowl and you use a brush, um, whatever you don't use, I actually just, I flush it. Um, you can throw it in the garbage and then put that in your actual garbage can outside if you want. That's another option. Um, but yeah, just don't keep it. Like you, unless you want to kind of ratio out the product a little bit yourself. I can't guarantee that you're going to get the exact same results if you would just mix everything together. But the box, then I got it. I got it on sale. I think it was like 8 bucks When I got it, I ended up picking up two used another one previously um but yeah just don't keep it if you guys mix the product sometimes i'm brave like that when i'm on a really tight budget like i am right now um but because i have a whole bag of joyco 
I don't mind throwing that out. Um, but please do not keep it mixed at home. If you want to mix it a little bit together at a time, by all means, go right ahead. Um, but like I said, please do not keep it. I can't stress that enough. Please do not keep it mixed at home. Um, just for your safety, if you have kids, their safety, if you have pets, their safety as well. Um, just all around safety because I don't want to hear you guys say, oh, Lara, she keeps her mix at home. I don't keep my mixes. I get rid of them. I throw them out. I sit them with them down the toilet. Don't know if that's the best idea, but because it's kind of liquidy, that's my best alternative right now. I do not keep it at home. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to finish cleaning up and I will get back to you guys when I go to wash this out.